Hello, welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog. Um, if you guys are not familiar with my Technique Vlogs yet, uh, basically <laughs> all you need to know is that they are not uh, necessarily instructional, they're not necessarily demonstrational. Basically it's a technique that I've been working on or that I've been thinking a lot about and then my vlogs are what I've been thinking about them and kind of what I've come to understand and working on them and things like this. Um, so today's technique vlog is something that I've talked about in other technique vlogs, but this is kind of more um, refining what I mean by that, which is designating tension. So what is designating tension? Uh, the way that I've used it previously is talking about how like if you're going to be kicking on on one side, you don't want your entire body to be tense and you don't actually want your kicking leg to be tense. You want to designate that tension into the opposite side to keep your guard up. So if you keep this tight when you kick, you actually have much better balance as you're coming back down by having designated that tension here. But if you make the tension everywhere, like if you're a beginner and you don't know how to designate tension, um, a lot of times what you'll find is that when you're tense all over, or if you're tense in the leg, it just, it simply won't go. Um, the thing that I was thinking about, uh, about how important designating tension is and really like where this mm, concept and like the importance of it for me really plays out is in clinching. And so I've been working with people recently who are beginning in clinching, uh, very inexperienced, literally day one, or just kind of like not very familiar with it. And the thing that I can feel immediately when you start clinching with someone who doesn't have experience is um, the tension is just everywhere. <laughs> and this is why you get really, really tired in clinching. So if you're a beginner, a lot of times like five minutes of clinching is just like really, really hard. Whereas uh, when you've learned how to relax, when you've kind of learned how to be in the water and you're not like borderline drowning all the time, uh, by designating that tension, you can actually clinch for, you know, 30, 40 minutes. You're tired for sure, but it's, um, it's something that you can continue doing, whereas you can't, you can't stay tense all the time uh, and continue doing that. So one of the ways to uh, explain designated tension, and really what I mean by that, is... Um, if you're like hanging from a bar, so not a pull up, right? If you're, if you're gonna like hang from a bar just like this, you're pretty much relaxed everywhere except for your hands, which are like holding you in place. If you're gonna do a pull up, you're gonna have to start using tension to like drag yourself up like this. If you're gonna do a hang, like if you're holding the bar and you're actually just gonna hold yourself up like this or hold yourself up like this, you have designated tension to certain muscles that will keep you in that position, but everything else is relaxed. So this is what I'm talking about, especially with clinch of um, basically making a frame. If you guys have uh, followed me for any length of time and followed any of my uh, clinching videos, I talk about building a frame. When you build a frame for me, what that means is one hand on the arm and one hand behind the head so that you can basically move from any, any posture in any position you can switch like this. So I don't do, <laughs> I don't do the double plumb. You don't get that position very often uh, when you're clinching with people who know what they're doing. Um, so that is a good place when you're first learning to just try to get the most dominant position. But really the most like useful position is going to be controlling the arm because you don't want elbows and controlling the back of the neck so that you can kind of like move people around. My designated tension is uh, not my entire arms. It's a little bit in each arm in order to build this frame. So I've got one on the arm, one behind the head, and it's kind of like this, and I can put a little bit of weight on it. If I'm tense everywhere like this, I'm just gonna get hurled everywhere. I've got dogs everywhere around me, so this is actually a really good example. If I'm trying to hold a dog, right? Like Simba's a jerk. Simba in the ring, he's just a monster. If he wants to like chase something and I'm holding him with my arm, if I designate tension into that arm, I can hold him and I have to like plant myself and it's like, don't go. If he decides to take off, I kind of have a little bit of flexibility to like catch him as he's going. If I'm tense everywhere, if I'm trying to hold Simba and I'm like completely tense everywhere, when he goes, we're all going. It's going to be like a belly flop onto the ground because of that tension. Um, so a place that you can start, like something that I like to do with my technique vlogs is basically like, the place to start that you can take this directly into your gym and start working on right now is um, in clinch, just try to find a way to like lock your arms in certain positions or like lock your legs into a nice kind of like balanced something kind of like this. Um, 
if you can get into that position and not be totally tense everywhere else, you're on the line to like creating this kind of um, designated tension that I'm talking about. A way that you can actually work on it if you don't necessarily have access to a partner or you're not ready to use it with a partner is you can do it um, on a bag or on a post or something. So I'm gonna point this towards this bag over here and see if that works. So a way that you can do this on the bag is you lock your arms into a position like this, right? So you're gonna lock them and they stay this way and then you can kind of like move and do whatever you're doing with your arms like this. You don't wanna be like gripping the bag with your hands. You don't wanna be like over gripping your entire body. You don't wanna be like wrenching around. You just want here and everything else is kind of relaxed. So grip here and move. You can kind of like rip from one side, rip from the other side and kind of just feel around that designated tension in those ways. Uh, so that is the public version. This will be on my YouTube. If you guys are interested in these technique vlogs, you can go watch the public playlists of these and get ideas of things that I've been thinking about and working on for many years I've been making these. Um, as a patron, I go into much more detail and I talk way more about how I've come to these, how I'm working on it, little details about um, how I've really put these into play and how I'm training or fighting or things like this. Um, so as a patron, you have access to the full um, technique vlog uh, that I'm about to go into now. <laughs> so if you're interested in the kind of like full versions with way more detail and information on uh, what I've discovered and how I've learned these and how I practice them, uh, it's very easy to become a patron. You can do so by clicking on the link in the description below. Um, and thank you all for your support. <laughs>